And well, look who's here. The aforementioned Mark Tepper joining us for the hour. So, Mark, the fact is we got news uh, just exactly the time markets turned around that what that the cyber attacks have begun in right. Ukraine. Now, whether yep. whether this does uh, presage a full bore attack uh, from Russia, we don't know yet. Uh, we're hoping it's not, but it does seem like there are cyber attacks. It just shows how skittish this market is. The, the market's very skittish, and, and we don't know how far Russia's gonna take it, but I think it's become crystal clear that they're taking it further than they had it yesterday, right? And, and as we look at Russia getting more and more aggressive, um, that makes, sanctions more likely, more and more sanctions. That hurts the economy, the global economy. That then hurts the U.S. economy. Um, so the you know, investors right now were laser focused on the Fed just a few weeks ago. Now everything has kind of shifted over but towards more focus on geopolitical I would, risk. I would push back a little and just say that people who are interested in the Fed are still interested in if now the Fed will look at what's happening in Ukraine because they have these political tentacles. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're concerned about the, the price of gas spiking even higher than it has. And, and maybe now's not the time for a half a percentage point uh, interest increase or that yeah. They, they may pull back on their plans a little bit. So I, I don't think 50 basis points are on the table for March. I would say not with. after what's happened well, with Ukraine. You can't hike 50 basis points while you're still buying bonds. It's kind of counterproductive. Right. Um, By the way, will, do you think that maybe they will not taper that off entirely, the bond buying, because of what's happening in Europe? No, I think they're going to taper it. I mean, okay. look, the Fed's supposed to have a dual mandate. It's full employment. And it's price stability, which is fighting inflation. So we wait a minute. Isn't it climate change? That's number That's four. And number three is propping up say. the stock market, right? Yeah. So they've got like there's it's supposed to be a dual mandate system, but there's really number three, which is prop up the stock market for climate change. The Fed's kind of in over their heads right now. All right. Well, as we see the markets go down, what is the S&P at right now? Because you say that there is a line in the sand for the S&P. It is now 4284. It's getting very close to that 4250 mark. Yeah. Uh, that's the point at which you say all bets are off. Uh, you don't buy the dip anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, when you look at the intermediate term trend, that's where you're going to have a trend change. 4250 is where you start to make lower lows. And at that point, all of these algorithms, all of these machines, they start to kick in and they exacerbate all of the selling pressures that are happening right now as okay. we speak. So 4250, if we fall through 4250, there's really no support until you look at like 36, 3700 on the wow. S&P. So we could easily wow. drop another 10 percent fueled by the machines. Well, we're only 30 points away from that 4250 right now. We're getting close. So we're getting close.